Hello students, welcome back to my channel. This is your Chendu Gaud. In today's lecture, I am going to cover the important questions for the Computer Science Engineering Department under the course Compiler Design for J under JNTUH R18 regulation which has 4 credits for this course. Before going to take this course and have a good knowledge on this, a student should be good at certain not of certain courses such as the computer organization and architecture as well as the computer programming and data structures. A student good at these courses you able to work out these concepts very easily and let's look at each and every unit I have taken into consideration several important points as well as the concepts for the compiler design course where you are going to take exam and scoring a better mark. I am going to give you certain tips also. Please try to listen each and every point which I am going to cover throughout this video. The first unit, the first gunshot question which I am getting you all know for this academic year question paper is the compiler basic structure and the various components is one of the gunshot question which is asked for 7 marks several times. Later, the analysis and synthesis of a compiler and a difference between the token, lexeme and pattern with example is also one of the 8 mark question which covers in 1A or 1B dear students. Make sure to work out accordingly and later the reasons for separating lexical and syntax analysis is asked several number of times in previous year question papers and we can expect this is a gunshot question. Later the errors recovery and strategies in helical analysis and the lex program arithmetic operation and the identifiers in the C program language. Later we are going to expect till here one question that is 1A and 1B which is of 7 and 8 mark split. Later let's look at the steps in constructing DFA for expression given. There will be several expressions will be given but related to DFA there are several questions asked in the previous year question paper and we can expect this also one of the gunshot question related to DFA. Later finite automata use in recognizing tokens and perform lexical analysis with example as well as lex tool and its specifications. From this part we can expect a second question which is of 2A and B which is of 10 and 5 mark or 8 and 7 mark split dear students. Make sure to carry all your pens as well as the pencils to the examination hall and put the question number left side of the border to the in the answer booklet. Later the unit 2 is all about the algorithm to eliminate left factoring for a grammar and ambiguous grammar is asked several number of times and we can expect this to be a gunshot question where they are going to ask you to check whether the following river grammar is ambiguous or not is one of the very very important and gunshot question dear students or prepare LL, SLR or CLR or LALR grammar showing the uh, certain grammar they are going to give you and asking you to check whether it is a correct statement or not. It is asked several number of times direct 15 mark question dear students related to grammar check. Later a syntax error handling or error recovery strategy and context free grammar and Parsi generator uh, is very very important and gunshot question and top down and bottom up parsing may be also asked several it is asked several number of times and can, we can expect from this 8 mark and it is a 7 mark and from this topic we can expect directly 15 mark question dear students this is all about the second unit. Later looking at the third unit it is all about the syntax direct translation scheme. This is also one of the gunshot question which is asked several number of times again we can expect related to the translation scheme of simple desk calculator or related to boolean expression. Very very important and gunshot question dear students from these two topics will be asking one question for sure. Later three forms of intermediate code representation is also asked several number of times which uh, the analysis have done in the previous year question papers. Later synthesized and inherited attributes is one of the 7 mark question combination when they ask this they may be asking even this under this. Later type checking as well as control flow statements as well as three address code and its implementation is also one of the very very important question dear students. This is all about the third unit and even from the third unit we can expect till here two questions I mean one question and till from here to here we can expect one more question at the combination of A and B dear students. Dear students if you are working out unit 1, unit 2 as well as unit 3 you can answer all the questions out of 8 
rate which you are going to answer any five as per the COVID pattern and make sure to work out whichever the concepts I have written here along with its algorithm and checking its grammar as well as the example points. Make sure to write your examination only in point wise and do not make it in paragraphs to score a better mark. I have uploaded a video how to write a theory paper. Please do watch that later the unit 5 and unit 5 4 as well as 5 which you are going to work out for the internal examination too please make sure to work out these questions that may help you all why because within a span of one week you are going to take your external examination please do prepare for the internal too to score better mark as well as these questions will be repeated even in your external examination too let's look into the fourth unit it is all about the activation record and its various components and then we are several number of times to explain and with the help of a sample C programming this question and according to the activation record I can expect that this is one of the important question later the code generation algorithm based on simple as well as dynamic is one of the gunshot question where we can expect only one question from the fourth unit this time as later define stack gar allocation as well as garbage collection or trace based collection of this or uh, question that out of these three we may expect any one point for a five or seven mark question dear students peephole optimization as well as basic block and its examples were also asked few times and the register allocation and assignment is asked several number of times for a 8 mark question dear students and do not expect direct 15 mark question it is a split of 7 8 or 10 5 combination later the flow graph as well as the nesting depth is also very very important whichever the things I have highlighted in red are asked several number of times I hope you are getting my points later we look at the unit 5 unit 5 is so small so short so that you can read out these for your internal examination and make sure that if you are skipping any of the unit of 2 and 3 you can write the fifth unit very easily next the optimization and its categories and code optimization technique is the gun short question for 8 marks for this time and the loops in flow graphs as well as data flow analysis its properties and foundations may be the seven mark question if it is eight mark question dear students and partial redundancy elimination is also asked several number of times we can expect even this to be also one of the gunshot question for this time this is all about the compiler design important concepts which you are supposed to prepare for your end examination dear students make sure to work out very neatly to score a better mark why because this is a scoring subject where you can increase your percentage in 3 to the and do not just work out for only the pass mark that won't pay you anything by the end of final year dear students you are supposed to score a 75 percent or 70 plus percent above to get placed in reputed organizations dear students hope you are liking my videos and do share and subscribe to my channel I hope you will do well in the examinations and do comment in the comment section if you are looking for any other course. Thank you. Please do not forget to subscribe and share this to your friends. Thank you all and God bless you.